More than anything, Johnny, first full day. Uh, it's good to see everybody out on the field. Um, full complement of the roster. Uh, encouraging by the first bullpen of Jake Peavy today. Uh, so overall, a, a solid day. John, can you, in general terms, share with us the, the overall message that you had for the team? Sort of the basic. Yeah, I think as I mentioned earlier, it, it's to get back to a mindset that was first day of spring training last year uh, and, and not the most recent memory, which was a, a great one, but to recognize that there was a lot of work, a journey that went into getting to that final out recorded in Fenway. Uh, and I think as, as you've been around the guys that since they've reported, uh, the conversation, the talk is, is about what we do today and not what's happened previous. Uh, in a nutshell, that was probably the overall message. Do you have any worries about the team won't be angry <coughs> any get down? No, and, and we talked uh, about that in the meeting. I, because of what we know of them now as, as people uh, in our uniform for, for a full year, uh, they're driven by what a team can accomplish, not by what a personal achievement might represent. Uh, and, and they're bonded together forever by a, an incredible year last year, and they're hungry to to do something similar like that again this year. John, you said you were encouraged by Jake's bullpen. Um, just by the fact that he was there, or was it, was it how he was doing that? Oh, it, it, was, it was really his first bullpen, but the fact that he's back in the flow of things, uh, I mean, he was held out because of some discomfort in that, in that hand, and, and that's not there, so that, that's a good thing. To what degree, I guess, if any, is he, he going to be set back by this in terms of when you would start him on the well, he'll probably need a couple more bullpens before we get to BP, so I can't say that it's going to have a, a a real long delay for his first outing here in camp. So uh, there, there's still plenty of time to get him up to the appropriate number of pitches to start the season. John, what was it like for you to have you know the whole team together on a ship then in that situation? If you were able to hear uh, the, the number of people speak, uh, then there was some common thread to the messages. There was overall sign of unity uh, and, and I think in a, in a word, a tremendous amount of trust uh, from top to bottom. Sure. Any players? No. no. They, they had some comments, but they weren't up speaking. How different is that from a year ago? When everyone was just kind of, you said earlier, in the week, familiarity wasn't there. Yeah. You know, Dan, that, that's probably the biggest thing. It, it is the familiarity and, yeah. it's, and it's knowing that you know, you're picking up a relationship with individuals that has had a, a timeout from the off season, um, but no less important to continue to work to build their trust each and every day. John, when will be the first day pitches go back? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, do you have any clarification for Major League Baseball about when the catcher rule is going to be? They have not released it yet. It's it's due out. Uh, we do have a. Uh, you know, baseball operations meeting with MLB, I believe Sunday up in Port Charlotte, more centered around instant replay. Uh, but this is still an area, you know, how, how aggressive can the catchers be taking home plate away? My understanding right now is that they've got to abide by a swipe tag. Uh, so I think anytime there's a, a rule change, there's going to be further clarification needed, and, and that's what the spring training will do. I read about uh, Tony Lewis from Joe Torrey and different people coming to camps to explain there, I believe, are five or six teams meeting in Port Charlotte. Okay, so that's going to be yeah, they'll be there. Uh, targeted kind of central sites for teams to, to migrate to. Have you guys started 